So how to and when should you test for methylation defects? This is a video to further elaborate or go on a squidoo lens that I wrote. Um, I've learned quite a bit more about act the actual uh, SMPs or singular. Um, SMP stands for singular nucleotide polymorphism and it's a uh, it's not actually a gene, it's not your genes, but it's it's a mutation along your genes, which can affect a number of things. But mainly when you're talking about methylation um, and detoxification, they're enzymes in your body, and you can have one or more uh, SMP mutations, and it can affect how the enzyme uh, acts. It can either make the enzyme... Um, not work correctly or can upregulate or downregulate and cause all sorts of problems. And um, the main ones that people usually test for, but you should really test all of them, is the MTHFR and there's the A1298 and C677. I personally have a double double mutation of, uh, of A1298 and uh, there's several different combinations you can have um, and it's not necessarily that they're bad, it's just that they're altered and that those can cause health problems and people can have one or two mutations on the A1298 which would be heterozygous or homozygous and then people can also have one or one or two on the C677 they can be heterozygous or homozygous um, and then there can be there can also be a compound heterozygous, which is where there's one mutation on a C677 and one on A1298. And um, basically, the the mutations affect how the MTHFR enzyme works. And from my understanding, it's a big part of methylation, and eventually it produces SAMe and a lot of the processes. And there's a lot of it. There's a lot of these biochemical cycles and processes. They're affected by and uh, MTHFR stands for methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase, which I know is a mouthful. But um, if you have a mutation, you often need to uh, treat it in a number of different ways, and there's usually uh, a lot more than just one mutation. Um, some other common ones that are tested or to look into are CBS. Um, MAO, NOS, uh, SHMT, and there's other MTHFR. Um, and how you can go about is you can go to Holisticheal and go and get the um, test from Amiasco, which while probably the most accurate, they can be very costly up to hundreds or thousands of dollars. Or you can get a 23andMe test, which is you can get it for a hundred dollars and actually if you get two of them I believe you can get one for a hundred and the second one for eighty and that is the cheapest genetic test out there and you can get that done and when you get those test results which they take a while because it's a genetic test and it's a saliva test so it's pretty simple to do you can run it through a couple of different services um, to find out if you have any mutations and what uh, to go from there to get treated or get help with it. Uh, the first service that I use, which is really good, and I actually know um, an acquaintance I've, I know him through Facebook. Uh, he runs Genetic Genie, and, and uh, it's a really good service if you just get a 23andMe test and you get the raw data and you put it through it, and he goes through how to do it, and then you run it through and see if you have any of these. And if you do, I would recommend then going to, you can go to mthfrsupport.com and you can either contact um, Sterling Hill, who is the administrator for it, and she can do a consultation and run you through all these genes, or there's an app. Um, I personally went through the consultation, and I think maybe that using the app might be cheaper, but it will cost you some money. But I think it's really worth it to go through what, the problem areas are and she'll go through and break it down and we'll even tell you like some things you can try out or some supplements 
I remember when I went through mine, she told me that um, my mutation is that it's one of the worst that she's seen. So I have a combination of a number of mutations. Um, and it's important when you find uh, it's important when you find out that you that you have these uh, mutations that you find someone that knows how to treat it and generally that's you want to look I mean naturopaths and most doctors have some knowledge of it naturopaths probably know how to treat it more but you want to find either functional medicine or naturopath that is a specialist or is willing to learn because this is in and of itself is very complex and often with this it causes adrenal issues, thyroid issues, digestive issues, mental mental and physical issues and it can and you have to use a lot of different therapies, natural therapies, supplements and even adjust your diet. And while paleo diet or paleo diet is the area of the diet you want to go on, it does need to be adjusted a bit depending on certain mutations. And a good time to test it is, well, there's a lot of health issues out there. Um, I would recommend most people, if you can afford it, to get it. Uh, 10 to 30 percent of people have at least one of these mutations. Um, I mean, I don't know the odds of all my mutations that I have, but it can cause a bunch of physical and mental problems. Um, it's really getting like uh, down and deep in finding why this or that happens and uh, behind a lot of like health issues like thyroid issues, adrenal issues, even learning disabilities, autism and uh, it's really digging deep and so you want to find a doctor or naturopath that, can, that will dig deep and f find out these health issues and being that there isn't a whole lot of research um, it might take time and um, there needs to be more research done, but but especially if you're dealing with like complex health issues or not sure what the problem is, and if you have like a lot of fatigue or if you have a lot of brain fog, and if your um, if your body weight and like mine did, like I lost a lot of weight and then I gained a lot of it back, and then I also had brain fog and fatigue, and I could tell that my I wasn't quite the, uh, the same. Because these can, because it can also affect your. Uh, someone's coming home. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, it can affect your neurotransmitters and hormones, so it can affect. Uh, I think, in a way, it can affect your personality and how you act and behave. Um. Anyways, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, Twenty-three and Me. It's a really good deal because in the past you have to pay at least two hundred or three hundred dollars for uh, Twenty-three and Me, and I think it's a really great opportunity, especially if uh, you have any number of health issues or you're just curious. Um, just because you have these mutations, though, doesn't mean that they're necessarily uh, expressing that way because there's uh, genetics and there's epigenetics and how it's expressed and it depends on a lot of things, but it can. Uh, but if you're like most people, you're probably stressed out, and your diet probably isn't the best. And depending on the environment, you can also be exposed to a lot of uh, chemicals and and uh, chemicals and heavy metals and stuff. But methylation is an important process of your body. It can. Um, that when it's messed up it can even cause things like cancer and it's a process that your body goes through to regulate hormones and neurotransmitters so it's important to get this and, and the other areas this and detoxification in your adrenals and your gut health and um, try and do it as naturally as possible but a lot of times um, you'll need to supplement with things especially B vitamins and folate because your body is basically deficient in this until you get everything regulated. And that doesn't mean that you will always have to use these supplements or these therapies but for at least for some time until your body gets regulated and, and it uh, can sort of work on its own. Anyways, uh, if you have any other questions uh, just leave a comment. Tell me what if you have any experience uh, 
experience with doctors. Um, I'll leave a, I'll attach a link to the Squiddy lens. Um, I've, this is an area that I've been reading a lot about and that I've gotten more into, especially because it affects me personally. So anyways, I'll, I've been trying to upload a lot more videos because I have a lot of articles, but I want videos to go with them to sort and enhance them. So anyways, uh, this is basically methylation, MTHFR, and when to, or when to test for these defects, which I think are probably one of the, probably should, there should be a lot more awareness and research into it because it affects so much, and I think it will really help out a lot of people. But that's it.